G.O. Guy Drugstore began in Seattle, Washington in 1888. The company was founded and named after Dr. George Omar Guy. George Guy was born on April 23, 1846 in New York. He was a graduate from the University of Michigan and then graduated from the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy. Guy is one of the men who possibly could have come up with the ice cream soda. Supposedly, with two customers at a lunch counter in a store in Philadelphia where he worked, he dropped a scoop of ice cream in a vanilla soda water. The customer wanted to try it, and from there, the ice cream soda possibly was created. Numerous others have claimed to have invented the ice cream soda also. Guy originally had a small pharmacy in Chicago, which opened in 1874. He then moved to Seattle, Washington, to open his first drugstore. According to George Guy's obituary on January 31, 1927, it stated, Mr. Guy started his drug business at the corner of Occidental Avenue and Main Street. After the Great Fire a year later, which demolished his store, he resumed business in a tent at 1st Avenue and Main Street, and in 1893 occupied at 2nd Avenue and Yesler Way. After the fire had destroyed most of Seattle's business district, Guy hurried to collect all his drugs and open a tent until he was able to move his things into a new building on 4th Street and Main. He then moved to a permanent building on 2nd Avenue and Yesler Way, which did become his chain's headquarters. For 50 years straight, the pharmacy was open all day, every day. Guy found a way to profit during the 1890s Klondike Gold Rush as well. As prospectors rushed to Alaska, his store remained busy when he created a box that provided medicine he made himself, all in tablet form, to help with what the prospectors would be enduring in the different Alaskan climate. The G.O. Guy drugstore at the corner of 2nd Avenue and Yesler Way was site of a shootout between high-profile theater and saloon operator John Considine and former Seattle Police Chief William L. Meredith. Meredith, a once friend and employee of Considine, had become Police Chief of Seattle after former Chief C.S. Reed, who was also a friend of Considine. Soon after, Meredith was forced to resign due to corruption as part of a feud with John Considine. Considine had owned saloons and gambling houses and was the leader of the Gambling Trust during the days gambling was illegal in Seattle after April 1899. Considine got with Police Chief Reed to make exceptions and allow gambling houses to pay fines in order to operate. Both the gambling houses in the city made a lot of money. Considine had much competition, included even Wyatt Earp in late 1899 to early 1900, and later in life, he even opened up the Seattle Orpheum Theater in 1911. Being a theater manager prior to the Orpheum managing the People's Theater, which was a box house in the city which featured shows such as minstrel and numerous vaudeville acts, as well as supposedly operating as a brothel. Meredith was upset with Considine, costing him his job, and caught John and Tom Considine at G. O. Guy's drugstore three days later after losing his job. Meredith shot wildly with a shotgun at John, while Tom grabbed a gun and hit Meredith in the head, fracturing his skull. Guy was almost shot and hid behind his drug counter. He said a bullet, quote, came unpleasantly close to my head and smashed a bottle on the shelf next to me, end quote. Dazed, John Considine shot Meredith three times and hit him in the chest with a bullet going through his heart, killing Meredith. In 1956, G.A. Guy opened a new drugstore in the new University Village Shopping Center in Seattle. Carrying over 25,000 products, this store was their first store to offer self-service shopping. Stores outside of Seattle opened in 1959 in SeaTac, 1962 in Linwood, and 1965 in Burien. Their main store on 2nd and Gessler closed around 1974 as the company struggled. Albert Guy retired in 1976 and the business was sold to Bonanza store chain. The G.O. Guy name remained. As pharmacies expanded drastically into the late 1970s to 1980s, G.O. Drug struggled. Lasting until 1987, they were the second largest drugstore in Seattle, only behind Bartell Drugs. In 1987, G.O. Guy had all their remaining six locations purchased by Pay and Save, and they were converted into Pay and Save Limited locations. Eventually, Pay and Save was bought out by Thrifty Payless, who was then bought out by Rite Aid, 